Hey, what's up? This is Left Tactical, and I'm going to show you how to create a setup project for your projects. And this is good for having a nice little uh, installer for your programs. Uh, you can install and uninstall registry keys and um, deploy multiple applications into uh, the user's programs directory and deploy shortcuts into various locations. Um, you can even put your own logo in the uh, installer window. So I'm going to go to the new projects window here and click on the other projects types node and then select setup and deployment. From there you can click on the setup project uh, template and I'm going to call this one my setup. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some programs to be deployed to the programs file folder here and you'll see that there's little constants in the default location that you can use to place the files. I'm going to get rid of the product name because that's just going to that's just going to look messy since we're going to install multiple products. Um, it's just going to there's going to be a directory with uh, the manufacturer name and then within that directory there's going to be our applications. So I'm going to select application folder and then we're going to drag one of my releases into the uh, application folder and rename it appropriately. And we can put another one in there. So I'm going to go to Able Opus Elements, Bin, Release, drag the release in there. Very good. Next up, we're going to add some stuff to the user desktop. Um, right, we're just going to add one shortcut. So I'm going to generate a shortcut from the background enhanced executional. So create shortcut, uh, get rid of the executional extension there, get rid of the shortcut too, and drag it into the user's desktop. And we're going to make a directory for this. Just call it able opus software and try can't really copy that so I'm just going to make another one from this executional able opus elements okay I'm going to cut that out of there put it in the directory here able opus software so you can definitely put a shortcut here in the top level of the user's program menu directory and that will appear to be something like these uh, shortcuts up here otherwise it's going to be in a folder like these ones down here okay so I'm going to have a directory on my start menu with one shortcut in it um, what, to my able opus elements program and then on the desktop it, there's going to be a background enhanced program and just for the heck of it, um, we're going to make sure that these are always created. Uh, always create. Always create. And you can like, uh, you can put conditions here. And if the condition is met and the always create property is set to false, then it will be created if, but if the condition isn't met and the always create property is set to false then the whatever the fuck you're setting here is not going to be created so we're going to go take a look at some properties so I'm going to open up my solution explorer and click on the my setup project so this is the these are properties for the entire project and my uh, I'm the author, so I'm going to put my name in there. Ferguson. Uh, detect new newer installed versions. False. Uh, keywords localized. Manufacturer. That's going to be the directory that's going to be created in the programs file. So I'm going to say that able opus is the manufacturer. Product name. I don't know, that could be something 
I think this one down here is the one that shows up in the uninstall install window of the that you you know you go to from the control panel and the product name is uh, I don't know we can just call this able opus software I'm gonna call this one down here software uh, navigator or something like that what else can we set you can set your version down here very nice remove previous versions I think I've currently have it set so that you, it'll just automatically overwrite um, any previous installations otherwise you're gonna get an error message you can put a description in there that'd be cool and you can set the project to install all users or just yourself alright so I'm gonna go up top hit release build build solution and next up well first I gotta wait for it to finish building it does take a while Okay, next up, I'm going to go to, okay, it's still building. It's it's packaging the files, so it's not just processing. It's going to do a bit of compression and uh, packing. And the Able Opus Elements program I have here has quite a bit of media files in it, so totally forget about that okay it's finished so I'm gonna go up to project and then I'm gonna hit install and that's just gonna imitate double clicking on the the fucking executional there and of course you can change this icon up here I totally forget about that all you gotta do is add a random directory here so add special folder go down to custom folder name it something like images and you can drag and drop an image in there um, oh fuck I might as well show you guys um, should be a long image it's gonna be a banner type image so it's gonna be fit, should be about 500 by 70 pixels for it to look right so I'm gonna drag that into the image directory and we are gonna go back to our project properties you know what that is definitely not what I'm looking for um, <laughs> and when you're in this solution explorer you're gonna have all your resources listed here for some reason um, there's a window around here that I kind of want resource view server solution explorer editor oh there we go there's the uh, this is really useful you go to view editor and this is where you can do stuff to the registry upon certain actions and uh, associate your program with certain file types uh, other scripts that you can run so I'm going to hit on user interface and I'm going to set the first couple of windows here to uh, use my banner bitmap so I'm going to browse hit images banner bitmap uh, click on that form there go back to the banner bitmap property browse images banner bitmap and you will only be able to utilize resources if they're within already within the project you have to first put the resources in and then reference them it doesn't you can't just load a stream to them from anywhere or whatever okay so I'm gonna rebuild I'm gonna close these windows here and we will wait for this to install and I will show you the output afterwards
Okay, so I'm going to go back to project and hit install. And you'll see up top that I have my little logo in the top right type right, sorry top right hand corner, and uh, that looks kind of sexy. So you're probably going to want to put that bitmap on every single form in the user interface editor. Otherwise, it would just look weird. So I'm going to hit next, and you can definitely change these uh, uh, notifications down here. You can say certain things. Uh, it's going to be installed to the programs files directory with the manufacturer name which is able opus and that's where those programs that I have up here are going to install uh, background enhanced and able opus and able opus elements enhanced so I'm going to hit next next and it's going to install my shit for me very good now let's take a look at um, see the submission in the add or remove programs window here it's called able open software it's this one right here you have the option to change it since it is a managed installer it's gonna give you that option uh, you can just plan down remove it so sometimes you can have uh, if you set it right you can have your own little icon there I did it one time I cannot recall how I did it and uh, don't feel like looking it up so let's take, let's take a look at our programs files or actually sorry our desktop and you're going to see that we have that one program background enhanced uh, submission desktop shortcut of submission that's perfect I'm not going to get rid of that and we're going to go to our start menu and you'll see that we have an able opus directory able opus software directory in our start menu with our little shortcuts there and um, I totally forgot to show you how to add an icon to your shortcuts I'm going to do that right now so let's go to the able opus software on the users program start menu and we're going to click on our only shortcut here, double click on it. Actually, sorry, just open up the properties here. Uh, click on the icon property and click browse. We're going to browse for a file, for an executable file. So we're going to go to, down to file, files of type executable. And then we're going to go up to the application folder where our programs are referenced. Um, and we are going to go up to able opus elements click on the executable and it's going to find the resources we need for the icon so there's the icon right there going to double click on that and build again So yeah, I'm not even going to bother showing you that because um, it's obviously there. The the icon's obviously set. You know what it's going to look like. So that's how you do an icon. It's kind of primitive to be to have to set up the icons like that, but who cares? I mean, this setup installer thing, this setup project, makes things makes things a lot easier. So I'm going to show you guys how to. Um, create a CD installer image okay so I'm gonna create a directory on my desktop where we're gonna put our CD installer shit in there gonna go back to my project Solu solution explorer right click the solution and hit open folder in Windows Explorer to navigate to our stuff right quickly and I'm gonna go into the release I'm going to copy these two files into my directory down here, my CD installer. And I think we're going to need to put an icon in there. A standalone icon. I'm going to put the. I'm going to drag an app icon into the directory there. Okay, that's good. Next, I'm going to create a text file, rename it to auto run dot any or inf actually and I'm going to open that up into the notepad 
and we're gonna do square square bracket auto run and then we're gonna do open and we're gonna we're gonna specify our setup our setup uh, yeah that's an exe so setup exe I don't know if you have to put the extension or not but might, might as well and then I'm gonna do icon is equal to app dot ico okay Let's click exit save next we, all we have to do is go into magic iso or anything that can save images and uh, pack that uh, pack all those files into an image so I'm gonna go down to the bottom here click on CD installer I'm gonna select all these files here uh, add files to the current image and then I'm gonna go file save as up top and save it as a standard ISO image on the desktop and I'm gonna call it able opus install save and we're gonna hide that there we're gonna go into the desktop and I'm gonna right click on my newly made image and then go to, I'm going to go to Magic ISO, mount, and I'm going to mount to my virtual drive here to see if it works. And it seems like it's it worked. The, um, the little installer window came up there and was searching for previous installations, and I already have one. I didn't think this would pop up, but I guess it did. So yeah, that's... That's how you make an installer. You can mount this to a disk, or sorry, you can burn this to a disk, and it will uh, behave in the same manner. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, post a comment, and I will try to explain things a bit clearer or uh, explain to you something new that you wanted to know. Uh, I'm, I'm talking a bit. Um, this is a pretty long video, and I'm not very good at long videos because I get pretty sloppy after a while so I'm gonna talk really fucking fast um, so yeah if you have any questions be sure to comment below and I will answer them very quickly <laughs>